Thanks for watching Two Wheels, One Compass. This is the Greater Minnesota series, where I go around to places in the great state of Minnesota, the land of 10,000 lakes, and I try to show you things that you can see outside of the Twin Cities. The Twin Cities, which is basically where I'm from, I feel like it gets too much attention. There is a lot going on in the Greater Minnesota area that people can see. I'm at the Rice Lake National Wildlife Refuge, which lies in the prairies northeast of Lake Mille Lacs. I'll get into why the Wildlife Refuge part is important in a minute. Long ago, the first human inhabitants populated the lake after the glaciers receded. The Native Americans of this region would end up harvesting wild rice in this lake, which is now unapologetically called Rice Lake. From the cities, you can find your way to Rice Lake by taking 169 up to Anamia and traveling up the east coast of Mille Lacs. You can also take Highway 65 all the way up from the Twin Cities directly. It runs right alongside the refuge. The refuge itself is an important lake for the natives of this region, which would have been the bands of the Ojibwe and Dakota tribes. Wild rice, a staple crop for the natives around here, grew abundantly out of the lake along with maple trees that would provide maple syrup and sugar. This region must have been known to be rich in resources. An ancient, prehistoric native cemetery resides here that archaeologists believe to be around 1,300 years old. They're uncompromisingly protected by state and federal laws. On this map, you also see the Twin Lakes, where an ancient canoe was discovered in 1969. Canoes like these would have been pulled into lakes where wild rice would be harvested in the fall from their stocks. Around Minnesota, wild rice is available in most grocery stores and people can get creative with it. It's used in bread, pilaf, to stuff deer sausage, and of course, wild rice soup, which is probably the best thing you can have on a cold Minnesotan winter night. Like all native stories, this one ends with the white man, who moved into the region around the time the territory became a state in the mid-1800s. Railroads brought farmers, farmers brought machines. Ranches went up in the region and the natives were put on reservations across the northern half of the state. The native Dakota in the southern half got into a war with the U.S. which ended up having all Native American reservations in the southern half of the state removed. There's a whole season on that war in the second season of this channel. Ranchers in the area actually tried to drain the lake to harvest marsh hay for their cattle. They failed twice, and you can see the ditch they made in their attempt. The decades went by until the Great Depression hit in the 1930s. The Depression was hard on Minnesota economically, and many lost their jobs. One thing the U.S. government did to stop the bleeding was to start spending projects around the country that would help keep local economies going. In 1935, President Franklin Delano Roosevelt established the Rice Lake National Wildlife Refuge. It was an attempt to provide employment to the region while also restoring wildlife. From 1939 to 41, the Civilian Conservation Corps created a camp here to help build the refuge into a sort of park that people can come to and enjoy. They ripped up a railroad that ran through the refuge and built dikes and water control structures. The goal was to make the refuge a long-lasting protected stepping stone for migratory birds. Corpsmen would work here for six month stints earning $30 a week in addition to room and board and health care. Many wildlife refuges were established around the country, and there's over 500 of them today. The National Wildlife Refuge System is a network of federal land that's specifically dedicated to wildlife conservation. They help migratory animals, preserve the backbone of crucial ecosystems, and provide outdoor experiences for all Americans. Many habitats around the nation rely on the safe havens of these refuges. The best part about this Rice Lake Refuge? It's free! You can drive right on up and take a tour with educational pamphlets on sites to see, wildlife to watch for, trails to hike, and ecosystems to experience. It's a two-hour non-stop trip from Minneapolis to the refuge, and there's plenty of sites along the way. If you're looking for a good stop when riding around on your motorcycle, or if you'd like to take a free trip to some great hiking trails, the Rice Lake Wildlife Refuge is basically maintained like a state park, but without the cost of entry. I have a few more ideas when it comes to the Greater Minnesota series, and if you like this one and have other ideas for me to visit, let me know in the comments section below. If you'd like to keep up with my other videos, such as my many series on long distance trips, subscribe and click on the notification bell so you'll get a notification when I post. Thanks for watching.